In this video, I'm going to do a few more examples of integration using U substitution. So this problem looks a little bit different in that we have a quotient and we don't have a composite function, meaning a function inside of another function. But what we do have is a denominator that we could let be equal to u. And if we let that be equal to u, we would then take the derivative of that like we always do, du dx, which is going to be 48x to the seventh. And then solving that for dx, we would have du over um, 48x to the seventh. Now, here's how we would do the u substitution on this. So we're going to have the integral of 7x to the seventh. And in the denominator, this quantity down here is now my u. And then the dx is now du over 48x to the seventh. So du is in the numerator and 48 x to the seventh is in the denominator. And once again, see how nicely these x to the sevenths cancel out. And we can also bring the seven out in front. And so I will have seven times the integral of du over u, which is the same as seven times the integral of one over u du, which is our log rule for antiderivatives. So this then becomes seven times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And then we can substitute back in what u is equal to six x to the eighth plus 10 plus c. And so that is how you should attack a problem that looks something like this. Another problem that looks a little bit different is this one that has an exponential in it. When you see that you have an exponential, we're generally going to let u be equal to the exponent, which is 2x in this case. So if we let u be equal to 2x, the derivative of that du dx is equal to 2, or dx is equal to du over 2. Now we can have 12 times the integral of e to the u. Remember that u is 2x. And then dx, dx is du over 2. So we have du over 2, replacing the dx. And now this 2 can go underneath the 12. 12 divided by 2 would give me six times the integral of e to the u du. So see how nicely this simplifies down to just the basic exponent rule. And so we know that the antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u, six e to the u plus c. And then last but not least, we simply replace u with its original value, which is two x. And there we have our answer. All right, so there's just two more quick examples of problems that you might see um, involving U substitution.